Hey YouTube, it's your boy G Miles. Today we're back on a video. Today we're gonna be doing a video on grilled fish, which is wild uh, uh, Pacific whiting fillets, which is a kind of fish or something like that. So here it is. Just to, you know, gave us that uh, yes, gave us that fish or something like that. So it's so it's called the wild Pacific whiting fillets and stuff. So yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna put these babies on the grill and I'm gonna keep it with it once I, we you know, thaw, I say thaw the fish out. Hey guys, I'm back. So the wild Pacific whining flits are I don't know. Well, they're already dialed quickly and stuff. So yeah, and that's what they look like from, from the bag or something like that. Yeah, those are from the bag and plus they're nicely thawed out. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get them out, rinse them out, and then get ready for the seasoning. For AC for the flips. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got the, well, you know, your office know, Pacific running flays out of the sink that is thrown out, all you gotta do now just add the seasoning, like some Tony's. Don't add too much salt, or else it's gonna be too salty, salty to eat. Once you add the Tony's, all you gotta do now, just add a little salt to this. Don't add too much of this stuff. Some black pepper. You gotta add that. Some garlic powder. That's the key of making the flavor right. And a little paprika. Just to give a little spice in this. And last but not least, it's minced onion. Just give a little flavor, you know? Hey guys, some back. So once you put the seasoning onto your fillets, which is the Pacific whitening or something like that, but all you gotta do now, just mix this stuff in together until it's all come up to a mix, you know? Gotta com combine those good flavors. Okay, once you got everything mixed in, all you gotta do now just organize them for a bit. Well, not always and stuff, so yeah. Once you did that, all I'm gonna do now just get some foil out and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the foil out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you see some, oh yeah, see your flip, which is fish, all you gotta do now just. I oh, put some foil over it since you know I'm gonna get a marinade for the blade for a little while. So, yeah, once you got the foil all nice and tightly into the pan of the lids, and all I'm gonna do now just go to the refrigerator, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna do off camera, and I'm, and I'm gonna keep you did it once I, we you know, marinate we you know, the blades for one hour. Hey guys, I'm back. Since we know, I'm already at my grill. Since we know, the flints are finally, let's see, are like still marinating and all that stuff, which is the fish. And all that you know, just how like you set up our grill. This is good. Blades, still got some pepper. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. But yeah, I'm so much of it. Yeah, I think that's how I'm trying to I'm gonna be using since you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some out. All I gotta do, do now just I use that as a pyramid like this. Yeah, like I don't care how how much how many of the amount, but I'm gonna stack them up. Just like, just like a pyramid and stuff, which I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I'm stacking up the, the charcoal size of pyramid. Hey guys, I'm back. So I finally Got the charcoal stack up as a pyramid. That's what that's what you're supposed to do when you when you're grilling and stuff. Sitting about a grill. Okay, once you got that done, all you gotta do now just pour some olive fluid in there. I don't care how much, but I gotta make it right. You know. Okay, once you got the olive fluid all your onto your charcoal, now I'm gonna do now just let this sit for a couple minutes and I'm gonna keep you updated once the lot of fluid is set with the charcoal. 
Hey guys, I'm back. So once your lot of fluid has been sitting for like a couple minutes, all I do now is just get a lighter out like this. Yeah, that's all I gotta do now. Just get a lot of fluid. Ooh, I don't wanna burn my hand. I see hands from that fire. Ooh, trying to be careful, you know. Since I'm still recording, recording on my phone, since I gotta get get a get a camera soon. Yeah. Okay. Once you, we we know got the fire set up. You know I'm gonna do now. Just let hey, let the fire disappear and stuff. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the fire is disappearing. Since we know char the charcoals has to go white. Hey guys, I'm back. So once the fire has finally hey, disappeared, you know I'm gonna do now. Just wait for those char charcoals to turn a bit white. That's how, that's how I gr grill my food and all that stuff. So yeah. Keep it updated once the charcoals has finally turning a bit white. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your charcoals has turned white a little, oh yeah, now yeah, just spread them out. Yeah, spread them out like a pro, you know. Okay, once you got your charcoal spread it, oh yeah, spread, oh yeah, spread it out. All we're gonna do now is finally put a racks back on. You got the other side of the grill for. Ooh, don't want to burn my hands. Okay, once you got your racks back on, since you know I got the grill nice and clean, well, almost. Now I'm gonna do now, just let it heat, heat up for a bit, and I'm gonna keep you updated once the grill is ready for the Wild Pacific whitening fillets. You know. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your, you know, wild Pacific whitening of your place has been marinating for like an hour, all I'm gonna do now is just use this to put to put it in, into the other foil and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get to get some of the foil out. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. So once you got some of the foil, all I'm gonna do now is just get you three pieces of fish. But I'm gonna. Put the other, other three in, into some other foil. Yeah. Once you did that, all you do now just fold it up like this. I don't know how it is, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I, we you know, fold the other fish. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your we you know wild Pacific, a Pacific whitening fillets onto the foil. Since you know I, I got them into the other tray until right here. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get to the grill. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you get to a uh, seat to the grill, all you do now just finally put, uh, put our fish into the grill. Like that. Okay, once you did that, you know what I'm gonna do now? Just let this cook for about 10 or 20 minutes. Just depends. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I check on the Wild Pacific whitening fillets. I want to cook them. So keep you updated. Hey guys, I'm back. So Okay, so our fillets has been cooking for a couple minutes and check it out it's getting there but not quite so yeah yeah the fillets are getting there but i don't know about those other i2 and all the stuff but it's getting there or something like that but i don't know whip it up or something like that yeah but better yet i gotta keep this closed since we all don't, don't want to ruin it and stuff I'll let you know, just close it. Yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once the flats have some cooking for under a couple of minutes. Hey, guys, I'm back. So you can tell that the fish is almost done, but not quite since I'm not dry or something like that. So here's our wild Pacific white navy fillets and stuff. So yeah, well, they're almost done, but not quite. 
I'm gonna do now, just let them cook for, I don't know, one minute or something like that. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm gonna keep you updated once they're done cooking. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh yeah, let's see, once you got your, you know, flays cooking, well, yeah, you can tell that the flays are, are done though. All I'm gonna do now, just take them out like that. Like I don't care, take them out. Ain't sorry about that. Those are the juices from the chicken, which I should not done, or or something like that. You know, the chicken was cooking right here, but I don't know why I did that. So yeah, and, and here here are the fillets that we cook. Those are finally done. So yeah, all I'm gonna do now just pay close it since we know we got I got chicken and stuff going on. But I'm gonna scoop this back just here. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get back in the house. Hey guys, I'm back, and we're finally back in the house. Yeah, and check out the flays. Voila! But I'm gonna, I'll, but what we're gonna do now? Just let them, you know, rest for, you know, a bunch of minutes or or an hour, it just depends or something like that. Since you know, we had a cool kudos, you know, Wild Pacific whitening fillets down and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you did it, did it once once they're cooling down. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you, I guess you got your Wild Pacific whitening fillets. I'll clean them for a bit. I'm gonna do now just, whoa, looking nice. I'm gonna do, do now just, you know, take us, you know, try to take them out, but I'm gonna do it all off camera because those are looking nice because I cooked it right and stuff to put it on foil. That's what you're supposed to do, yeah. And I'm gonna keep you a little once to get all those fillets out of the foil. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your wild uh, your Pacific whitening uh, your flits out, which is the fish, you had the top of fish. Yeah, those looking good. And you know, I'm gonna do now just fix our plate and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I once I get my plate out. Hey guys, I'm back. So voila, there you have it. Let's see my wild Pacific. Whitening, I see whitening fillet, which is fish and stuff. So, yeah, let's check at it. And wow, check out, hey, check out the skin and also the, the white part of the fish. That is the main key to, of grilling the fish, which is grilled. In three, two, one. Man, that's some good grill, wild Pacific whitening fillets. And stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get through, through my fillets. Hey guys, I'm back. So the grilled wild Pacific whitening fillets that I had, which is the fish, is super good and plus and it loads the pack of flavor up and stuff. So yeah, so check it out. All oh, nice and good, eaten by me. And also check the rest of the grilled wild Pacific whitening a blaze and stuff. So yeah. Ooh, nice and good. My family's gonna love this. And that's all for this video on um, fillets and stuff. So yeah, which are grilled. And so, so yeah. Way tube. If you're new to this channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell if you get a chance. And it's been your boy, Jim Miles. Peace out. Hope you enjoy.